coalition of religious leaders and human rights defenders in Siaya County have condemned the rising cases of abductions and killings in the county drawn from various faiths. The leaders have come together to call upon the government and security agencies to address the escalating insecurity as well as abductions in the country. This and more in our county news wrap with Timothy Kipnesu. The increased cases of abduction in the country have raised concern from Kenyans. A section of religious leaders and human rights defenders in Siaya County now want the government to take decisive action in addressing the rising insecurity cases as well as abductions being witnessed in the country. We condemn the laxity of security and law enforcement agencies for not investigating and stopping forced abductions and dumping of unknown persons' bodies in Rivayala and Nyamninia area, among others in Kenya. Also, university students have been encouraged to give their views regarding the new higher education funding model when the committee that was established by President William Ruto begins its public participation. I am your mother. Don't go out of the way to do anything bad. If there's any issue, my office is open with your uh, vice chancellor here. Come, we talk. If it's a side of the county, we will do what we are supposed to do for you. Meanwhile, National Council of Churches of Kenya and Human Rights Organization in Kisi have taken initiatives to prevent disruption of peace in the country, especially with the current political developments. In the construction of the second phase of the multi-billion shilling law and zoe irrigation project is set to kick off soon, following the completion of the first phase. Water Principal Secretary Efanta Skimodo says phase two of the project will occupy 7,500 acres of land and will be undertaken eight months. Phase one uh, is covering an area under infrastructure of 2,500 and uh, phase two it has now begun as well. So you can see this is actually a very, going to be a very impactful project. In the meantime, Workers Union in Tanzoya, led by their chairperson Samuel Kiboy, have called on the national government to investigate corruption allegations involving millions of shillings meant for boosting education in the county. County government ilikadiria milioni thamanini ya nawiri fund. Mbapo kufika sasa hivi, walio pokea ni pesa siliso tolewa ni milioni chirina tatu. So nataka kuhuliza kavana, milioni zingine simaenda wapi, wapo tulikadiria iso pesa zote. And the county government of Busi in partnership with the TB implementation framework agreement has scaled up measures to mitigate the spread of TB among cross-border traders and travelers at Busi Malaba borders. We are also integrating with the HIV screening, screening for diabetes, and uh, we are also doing uh, blood pressures. Finally, waste management champions in the Lake City of Kisumu are calling for more advocacy programs to sensitize the community on proper waste management as well as promoting waste segregation at the household level and discourage open waste disposal. Basically, we are targeting uh, the communities. We want the communities to embrace the issue of uh, uh, segregation at source, uh, proper disposal of waste, and we also want the community to know about the policies that exist on open dumping of waste in Kisumu. Timothy Kipnusu for Easy Friday. <laughs>